coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. City Airbus EV Toll conducts its first untethered flight. South Florida is a no-drone zone during Super Bowl 54. And autonomous cargo delivery drone will be unveiled at Farnborough. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The City Airbus eVTOL Quad Rotor Aircraft completed its first flight at the Airbus facility in Donauwörth, Germany. This test comes a little over eight months after the aircraft's first tethered flight test back in May of last year. City Airbus is an all-electric, four-seat, multi-copter vehicle demonstrator focused on advancing remotely piloted eVTOL flight. City Airbus has a multi-copter configuration featuring four ducted high-lift propulsion units. Its eight propellers are driven by electric motors at around 950 RPM to ensure a low acoustic footprint. The single failure tolerant architecture ensures safety and its cruise speed will be approximately 120 kilometers per hour on fixed routes with up to 15 minutes of autonomy. To date, the City Airbus subscale model has flown more than 100 test flights, which has proven the aerodynamic configuration of the full scale prototype. Now it's time for our Unmanned Minute, where we'll be taking a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Dr. Robert Ballard, Kathy Lanier, Dr. Kara Lapointe, and Dr. Mark Railbert have been announced as keynote speakers for AUVSI's Exponential 2020. Exponential 2020 will be held on May 4th through the 7th at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. You can find more information on this upcoming event at exponential.org. Boeing signed an agreement with Tactical Robotics to explore development of a ducted fan propulsion technology with potential uses for piloted and autonomous light aircraft. The two companies will determine what opportunities may exist in developing, producing, and marketing fan-based VTOL products, including the Cormorant. Due to its compact Humvee-sized footprint, Cormorant can conduct emergency response missions such as delivering food, water, and supplies during natural disasters or in combat environments. Deloitte and Rady Children's Institute for Genomic Medicine are exploring an innovative approach to cut the time it takes to get medical samples to the laboratory using unmanned aircraft systems. The plan calls for avoiding ground traffic delays by deploying UAS to fly genomic testing specimens to the lab to get results back to acutely ill babies and children more quickly. Avion Unmanned signed a participating addendum with the state of South Dakota and all its state agencies, political subdivisions, and institutions. This contract opens the door for Avion Unmanned to provide UAS services to state and local government agencies in South Dakota. Avion Unmanned has been chosen to provide UAS services nationwide through the National Association of State Procurement Officials Value Point Cooperative Purchasing Organization. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Hard Rock Stadium near Miami is a no-drone zone for Super Bowl 54 on February 2nd. Drones are also prohibited around the Miami Beach Convention Center for the NFL Super Bowl experience and Bayfront Park for Super Bowl Live during the days leading up to the event. The FAA will establish a TFR on game day that will prohibit drones within a 30 nautical mile radius of the stadium, up to 18,000 feet in altitude from 5.30 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Drones are also prohibited for one nautical mile around the Hard Rock Stadium on February 2nd, from 9 a.m. until the TFR for the game takes effect. The FAA will restrict drone flights for roughly one nautical mile around the Miami Beach Convention Center and Bayfront Park up to an altitude of 2,000 feet from January 25th to February 1st during daytime hours. Pilots and drone operators who enter the TFRs without permission could face civil penalties that exceed $30,000 and potential criminal prosecution for flying drones in the TFR. 
Drone pilots should check the FAA's Before You Fly app to determine when and where they may fly. Yates Electrospace Corporation announced the design completion and specifications of a wide-body version of its successful GD2000 cargo delivery drone. The new wide body is 60% larger than the standard Silent Aero GD2000, with a 140 cubic foot cargo bay that accommodates five times more life-saving supplies, medicines, and tactical cargo. The Silent Aero GD2000 WB will have a gross weight of 2,000 pounds, glide ratio of 7.63 to 1, and a standoff of 36 miles. YEC plans to unveil the Silent Aero GD2000 wide body at this year's Farnborough International Air Show, July 20th through the 24th. And that's all for this week's Airborne Unmanned. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. You can find more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.